Porter Court, Porter Court, Porter Court. And the black suit all over Porter Court. Ninas is sending this message to Porter Court and those suffering from the suit in Porter Court. Our good friend, uh, Governor Jason Wike, has said he has left it to God. But please, we have to take a little more responsibility. God will not come to contest election in Nigeria so that he can do the things we can do, we should have been doing for ourselves. The truth happening to you in Port is coming from the fact that the refineries are on the exclusive list in the 1999 constitution. Therefore, it is the exclusive business of the federal government to do what they like and your governor is not in any position to do anything about that that is what has tied his hands and so if you want an end to that suit you must now step forth to join those who are insisting that that constitution must go down and the first sign of the the first evidence of seriousness the first evidence of sincerity in that push is that you must be one of those who will say today in 2021 that we will not go to another election under that constitution that the, the, the refineries that are on that exclusive list see the way it works the people who sell the three million barrels of crude oil that nigeria sells every day are seated in the comfort of kano and sokoto and meduguri you know them and their sponsors in london and elsewhere you know them. They don't suffer from any of these things you suffer from. It is because there is this illicit, this bunkering, this kind of let's go take whatever we find and refine by ourselves. That's where the suit is coming from. If that constitution does not go down, that situation will remain like that. The military, we had uh, your governor telling you the other time, uh, I think it was the chief of army staff, there was somebody who was addressing, some people came to visit. All of those on military postings in Port Harcourt, those generals there all have their own refineries and, and, and bunkering business, illicit refining, illicit bunkering going on. That's what's going on. Now, the people who sell these three million barrels of crude oil in the name of federal government of Nigeria are nowhere near where the suit is happening and if this constitution were to go down and we were to unbundle the our, our sovereignties from inside the, that document you will you will immediately resume your right to regulate your environment that is when your governor or any kind of governance that is in charge of the area will be able to put regulations something that will there's nothing they can do now the people doing it they know but the constitution forbid them from intervening and you can see it has become a health issue people are dying in numbers you can't imagine the stories we hear from the from the from the medical people managing that situation is is, is at a pandemic level so why do we leave it to god to come and do what when we can when we can say enough of this when we can say we can proceed under this constitution that 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 prevent us from doing anything at all for ourselves in in a situation we can see what the problem is and we have a solution we can apply by ourselves but the constitution say we cannot apply it the same thing happening with security is happening with a, with a, with a, with a infrastructure is happening with your electricity is happening with the suit that is falling you know painting protocol black it will be your fault it will be your responsibility if you do nothing and you join your governor in saying you leave it to God. Those who are preparing to go to election in 2023 under that constitution are inviting you to reinforce the damnation you already live in. Port Harcourt, you can do better than this. Port Harcourt, Ninas is saying you can do better than this. You have to join in saying that this constitution must go down. Your life is now dependent on it. If it doesn't go down, you can be sure things are only going to get worse. We can there now doing all kinds of things, uh, just just trying to to, 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 to to work with bare hands. The powers required to address the situations surrounding you, confronting you, coming towards you, 
go beyond what your governor have for today. This is an open invitation. Get on the website www.ninasvoice.org to find out more. We can end this trauma in less than six months if we make up our minds. First order of business, we will not go to a further election under this constitution. Let us now get into that transition to recover our right to manage our environment. I think we'll leave it there.